You know, yeah. the, the real question is, what can people take out from your story? There should always be something that people can take out of your story to help them out. You know, something, something, something that I, I, um, that I heard. And it was from, um, John Maxwell. Mm, no, yeah. He's the goat. Um, one, one of the great, one of the generals there. Um, when you listen, when you hear the word, when you hear the name Warren Buffett, what do you think of? Money. When you think of the name Jeff Bezos, what do you think of? Amazon money, you know, big business. When you hear the name John Maxwell, what do you hear? Uh, leadership. Uh, just, yeah, great speaker. So now the real question is, when people hear your name, what do they think of? Next Generation Faith, the Faith Cast, Jesus Christ. Yeah, but I think that's a question that people should ask themselves. When they hear my name in a conversation, yeah, what do people automatically think? Guys, if you're in the chat, that's a question for you. Right, you know, you don't. If you want to write it, you want to share it with a put a hashtag next to it. But the, it when they say your name, when they say um, Andres, Leilani, Victoria, Desi, when they when they mention you guys, what what do they associate with your name? And if if you don't have anything, when this is not pressure, but it also makes us wonder. Okay, well then, what are we doing? Right, that's the, that's the end of the question there. Right, if they're not associating the good things that you want to associate, then what has to change? Because if you follow your blueprint, when you say David, what do you think of? Oh, think general, general, uh, king, king, leadership. I think uh, a, a poet, ma master, a writer, musician, um, uh, heart for God, passionate. Like it's 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 crazy. It's crazy. Like that's a question that we all need to ask when they hear Emmanuel Rivera. Do they think what? You, you know about you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or do they think something else because their perspective is seeing something else? Mm, see, and now perspective now, versus reality. And, and the thing is, if we live too much in our ideas, we don't come down to reality because, again, we're thinking about our purpose up in the sky, mm -hmm. but we're not putting our feet on the ground. Hold on, is here, but how, how am I bringing it down here? Like, so I want I want people to think like this: the reality is that I am a leader. The reality is that I'm called to be a pastor. Okay. The reality is that I I can speak and I can talk to people's hearts. But the perspective of people is what they're seeing. So what could they be seeing? The perspective of people, oh, he's a goofball. The perspective is that he doesn't take nothing serious. The perspective is. <laughs> you said it. Oh, the perspective is, oh, he's not a great leader. The perspective oh, is. He's not a great pastor. Mm. The perspective is, oh, he's not loyal. But why do they hold that perspective and not holding the reality of things? What are we doing mm -hmm. that they look at the perspective more than the reality of what God said? See, this goes back to what we were talking about before, which is part of your purpose, even if you don't talk about a specific calling, right? You are called to reflect the character of God, the fruit of the spirit. You're called to reflect the nature of Jesus. So if your conduct doesn't align, oh, well, I'm called to be a pastor. I, I don't, I don't see that. Where and, and I'm not saying that's true. I'm just mm -hmm. saying like I'm called to be um, a lawyer. I don't, I don't see that. Do you go to law school? Do you are you familiar with the terminology, the jargon of law school? Are, are you stirring jurisprudence? That's the word, you know, mm -hmm. JD jurisprudence, right? Are you are you getting into the philosophy of law and ethics and how they debate, you know, positive law, which is really create the ideas of what's a law, what's not a law, where they derive it from, natural law, or you know, these are just things for anyone who's studying law, because you know, I have a little knowledge there. But the point is if you know, I say that I can I can have a conversation with someone and like, oh, this is someone who's aware of law. So when they talk to you. And they say, hey, hey, Cessna, and you begin to behave in the in the manner of a pastor. But if they're not doing that, right, if you're not doing that, what are they seeing? Well, I'm called a pastor. Well, why when I talk to you, you don't act mature? Why don't you provide guidance and light when I speak to you? It's the why do you take me serious? Mm -hmm. it